We are now off at a more relaxed pace to the National Portrait Gallery. The history of the National Portrait Gallery starts in 1840s um, when it was suggested by uh, one of the trustees, um, Earl Stanhope, that there should be a National Portrait Gallery and it was raised in Parliament and it was given consent by Queen Victoria and it was founded in 1856. In 1969, the history of the National Portrait Gallery had a very big milestone. Unless you were the reigning monarch, you had to be dead. So Roy Strong changed those rules and said, why don't we have people on the walls who are alive today? And so what you saw in that time was a much wider range of people, and that policy continues to this day. The National Portrait Gallery continues to acquire portraits and it also commissions portraits. Recently we've had uh, portraits painted of Dame Maggie Smith, the actress, Gail Reebuck, the publisher, and Dame uh, Sally Davis, the chief medical officer, which gives you an idea of the range of people that the gallery collects to put on its walls. On display in the National Portrait Gallery are about 10% of the gallery's collection, which is absolutely huge. So we obviously don't have the room to display everything. So what's great about that is that there's always new things for people to see. And then if people want to see portraits that aren't on the walls, then of course the website has the great majority of them. And also lots of our exhibitions, lots of our portraits tour Britain and tour internationally. Very recently, we had a, an exchange programme with Moscow. Um, we had an exhibition called Russia and the Arts. The interest in Russian-related things at the moment is vast. Um, and we had uh, an exhibition of portraits from the Trechikov Gallery, 23 of their major portraits of people like Tolstoy and Tchaikovsky. Um, and then in return, we sent uh, a few of our portraits, which the Trechikov visitors could see, such as Shakespeare and Dickens. So there's a lot of um, cooperation of loans of portraits between different countries. We have the BP Portrait Award, which is the biggest portrait painting competition in the world, and uh, thousands and thousands of people enter it, and 55 of the top portraits go into an exhibition, which can be seen for free. So that's one of the main exhibitions that are bringing uh, visitors to the National Portrait Gallery this summer. The portraits here at the National Portrait Gallery surprise a lot of people. In the room that we're in here now, we probably fulfil the view that a lot of people might have who've not come in here, that the portraits are of people looking rather important with wigs. But there's much more to it in this gallery than that. Um, anything that is a portrait, the gallery is, is interested in collecting. So that could be a photograph, it could be a sculpture, it could be a video installation, it could be something on a computer lo loop, it could be um, an artist's head made of his own frozen and blood. If it's a portrait, we're interested in collecting it.